Welcome back, folks, to the Raven Legacy of a Master Thief Let's Play. When last we left off, a deal here had uh, let himself get captured so that Patricia, who in fact is not called Patricia, wasn't captured. We don't yet know if she actually managed to secure the Eye of the Sphinx. My money is on the fact that she probably didn't. Right now, we're stuck in the cargo hold and unable to escape because Constable Oliver is uh, sat guarding the, uh, the top of the stairs. We currently have a little pulley here, and we can actually just mess around with the crane controls. I didn't know you could do this, <laughs> but you can just let the crane control go up, <laughs> and then you can let the crane control go down. Like so. <laughs> I could do this all day. Please don't, you've got to save Zelna! <clears throat> also, notice that we tied it up there, and now it's not tied up there anymore? Hmm. We'll just try opening the bars now. <coughs> there is a piece of dialogue for this. Don't think it's gonna work. Not a chance. I have to come up with something, and fast. Dr. Gebhardt has the means to get rid of an old man inconspicuously. Does indeed. Let's currently climb back down the shelf. What we basically need to do right now is we need to, uh... We really need to attach the, uh, the, the, uh, hose, but maybe there's something I'm not doing right here. I've got to walk over there, as I recall, to get... I'm trying to remember how to get off this screen. It wasn't like that. Was it by going to this corner trunk here? Or maybe the game is telling me there is nothing more to be gained by being anywhere else. Not true. Ooh, there is the cell we can examine again, but there is really nothing yet to examine here. Hmm. No, I think what we all the stuff we need is actually over there. The question is, what am I missing? This is actually a puzzle the first time through I had severe... Uh, I had some uh, quite severe difficulty with. I was pretty much like this, being like, hmm, what am I doing? Ah, there we are. The hose is in fact here. Which is a really odd place to put it. So we'll attach the hose to the hook. And then we can use the crane controls? That's actually not gonna help. <coughs> here goes nothing. Let's try it. Did it work? Oh, it did. Louder than I expected. I hope no one noticed. With luck, I'll be able to warn the others about the doctor before it's too late. I hope so. Let's climb up the shelf. And out. I actually thought that there was a different part to the puzzle there. I thought that memory said that you had to do something with the car, but it would seem like you don't. Let's just get out, shall we? Let us warn everyone of Dr. Gebhardt! We need to do that right- No! Oh. Hey, you, you all right? <sighs> that bastard didn't inject the fatal dose. You'll be back on your feet soon enough. <sighs> Better take it easy while I- Ah, uh, Gebhardt- Oh no! Gebhardt is gone! You should have paid more attention to him. Off you go, Adil! I'll be right back. Better chase after him. Yeah, he went up there. It's a good thing nobody else is noticing this, by the way. <laughs> yep, there's no one around. Let's go to the side deck. Where's he gone? Hmm. Where are you? Well, there aren't many places he could be. There really aren't many places he could be. Hmm. But, uh... Oh! Oh! Uh, no! Why can't you just leave me alone? Uh, 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 oh! Close. Uh, uh, <laughs> Not close enough, though. We know which way he went. He went that way. After him, Adil! 
Maybe we'll get an answer as to why now. Stay there. Just relax. Why can't you just leave me alone? It is always the same old story. Same old story? What old stories? I am a decent man. Why are you torturing me? I just... I... I loved her. She betrayed me. It was her fault. I have blood on my hands because of her. Who? Hmm. We need to find out more here. Are you talking about the Baroness? She... She was her sister. I loved her. With all my heart. They were Jewish, you know? But I didn't care about that. I hid them when it became dangerous for them. I looked after them. I brought them food. I was a party member. And still, I hid her and her whole family. You risked your life for a woman you loved. And 30 years later, you murder her sister? I saw her swollen belly. I was so angry. He was one of them, you know? They just used me. I hid them, brought them food. And in return, they laughed about me behind my back. What did you do? There are Jews hiding in the basement of the Waldhof. Armed Jews. We have to burn them out. <gasps> and that's what they did. You had the whole family killed? I am a gentleman. And I expect that others... That... That they, they... they don't. She didn't love you. And was expecting a child by another man. And that's why you betrayed her. It... it... it was her fault. She shouldn't have cheated on me. I... I... I saved her. I risked my life for her every day. For... for four months. And then you threw it all away and became a murderer. I am not. I am... Yeah, well, the dead Baroness in the ship's hold proves the opposite. I had never met her. Back in East Prussia, she was the older sister, the smart sister. She studied art history in New York, tried to get her family out of East Prussia, but I was able to prevent that. You say you loved her, and yet you wanted to deny her and her family a safe life. They were safe. I protected them. It was for their sake that I joined the party. I had contacts. I wrapped them in my protective embrace. You didn't let her escape because you wanted to keep her close to you. She sent photos to her sister before the war. She must have recognized me yesterday in Venice. I certainly recognized her. The Baroness was searching through her photos. That's true. She couldn't get me during the war. And after the war, I disappeared. Gave myself a new name, a new resume, a new life. And then, suddenly, there she was. About to ruin everything. So, she had to die. I didn't want that. But she gave me no choice. Why? Did she have to stir up old ghosts? Uh, all right now. No. It ends. Here and now. Why do you want to kill yourself? Isn't it obvious? Hello, Inch. He can't bear his false, hollow life anymore. Who are you? What do you want? A man who understands etiquette and honor, and yet is nothing but a coward himself. Who, because of wounded vanity, burdens himself with immense guilt. Don't come any closer. The Baroness held a mirror up to you, didn't she, Doctor? And you hated what you saw there. So you smashed the mirror. But the sins of the past are catching up with you now, aren't they? No. A skull with empty eyes full of fear stop it oh dear you really know how to dampen the mood I almost had him and you aren't you supposed to follow orders are you not here to assist me I won't that wasn't a question I 
I don't want any dead bodies. The same old story. You want success, but you don't want to get your hands dirty. Isn't the Raven famous for that? I do what's necessary. No! No, no! What is it then? You wanted to jump anyway, or you should at least. Inch! I'm just lending a friendly hand. He's a coward. He needs a bit of motivation. Come on now, chop chop, jump! You are the Baroness's butler, aren't you? I... I did not want to kill your mistress. Oh, 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 nonsense. Forgiven and forgotten. If you don't mind my asking. There must be another solution. Why are you doing this? Nothing personal. Well, that's not entirely true. You're a miserable excuse for a human being, aren't you? But mainly, you're a means to an end. Your death will get Inspector Legrand off our backs. The Inspector? What do I have to do with him? Your letter. The one in which you confess to being the Raven and to killing the Baroness because she saw through your ruse. <laughs> That's absurd. Indeed it is. But people will believe almost anything if it suits them. The press will love it. Bold Inspector Legrand saves the day again. Interviews, medals, urgent telegrams from the capital. Our dear friend won't be able to escape the limelight. And by the time the commotion has ended, I'll be long gone. There really is only one choice that we can have here. A deal is not inch. You can't kill him. Why not? He's a bastard, his death will help us, and he's a witness. If we let him go, we'll both go to jail. All the same, we're not gonna kill him. You got us into this situation. And as long as I'm alive, I won't let anyone be killed in my presence. No. You can't kill both of us. Oh, I think you'll find I can. You can't kill me. You still need me. I have to do the dirty work for you in the museum, so you won't be shooting me or him. Very well. You win. What? Oh, never speak to me like that again. Do you understand? I need you to steal the eye, but one day I could be overwhelmed by a feeling of hatred that will make me forget the eye. And there are worse things I could do than simply shoot you. I suggest you go back to your cell. You need to be fit for Cairo. I still have a confession to write. And that's what happened to Gebhardt. Why Gebhardt is no longer the on the last ship. Act. The end of the Raven. Hello! Part of me wants to abandon the whole plan and go back to Europe. What if something goes wrong and Legrand catches on? I couldn't bear it if something happened to her. I can't afford to slip up. You better go talk to Inch. Hello! Yes, it is dirty. Mr. Jamal, I'm glad you could make it. Let's get this over with. Still angry on account of the good doctor? You disgust me. You'll be rid of me in less than two hours, and I of you. Hmm, we could talk about Mr. X here. Have you already met your Mr. X? He's counting an envelope of unmarked bills as we speak. He put the blueprints under the statue of Imhotep. Blueprints? A sketch of the museum, not the kind you can get just anywhere. This one shows secret entrances, basements, and attic rooms that the Resistance used during the war. That's what it was about. Get the blueprints. There's a basement below the treasure chamber. The entrance should be marked on the blueprints. Open it and give me a sign. Fair enough. 
Let's ask about the doctor's murder. Will there be more deaths here in the museum? If you follow my instructions, no. If people are in danger, I'll call the whole thing off. I don't kill for fun, only when it's necessary. Is it ever really necessary? Sometimes. Revenge, for example, when one has been betrayed. And what about Legrand? My diversion worked wonderfully. The press has laid siege to the French embassy and Legrand won't be able to escape them. He should arrive in a few minutes with the safe and then he'll have to answer ridiculous questions from reporters all afternoon. That's why we're striking now. A regrettable necessity. I would have preferred to make my grand entrance this evening at the gala. But yes, we will strike as soon as the safe is in the treasure chamber and Legrand has left. And let's talk about the basement. What's the next step after the basement? You'll find out when it's time. But... <sighs> All right then, I'll pay a visit to Imhotep and we'll meet in the basement. Good monkey. Oh, and by the way, the museum is closed to visitors until tomorrow. Then how... You'll find a way. He's confident about that. Right, we need to find a way in. And I think I've already found our way in. Probably in this vehicle. I hope the owner doesn't come back while I'm tampering with the truck. Craftsmen aren't known for their calm, sympathetic natures. Let's open the door. Don't smash the window. Uh, locked. Hmm. Examine the van door, I think. The door is closed, and I don't want to break the window. Someone might hear the sound and call the police. Hmm. What about the stuff in the back? Let's have a look at that. There's a tennis ball stuck on the tow hitch. Ah, people do that to protect the hitch and their trouser legs from the grease. We want that tennis ball. Got it. There we go. The tennis ball is slid open, and the inside is smeared with grease. No one will ever play tennis with this now. There is also something else that we might get in the trash can. Remember the beginning with a deal where he said you can find all sorts of interesting stuff in trash cans? Here is an example of where this could be useful. I have to improvise if I want to get into the museum. Hmm. Oh, nothing. I don't know. There's an umbrella. I never imagined I'd be up to my elbows in garbage, and I still haven't found anything. That's an umbrella. Do I need an umbrella in Cairo? Or could it help me get into the museum? Hmm. It might. A rod like that could be useful. Yes. The r not the rest of it, though. Not the rest of it, but the what? But the uh, the wire here, or the rod? A thick wire frame from the umbrella. It keeps it open in the wind. We could use that to. Ooh, we could open the door with it. Mm. I could probably reach the door lock with the rod, but how's it supposed to catch hold? Hmm. How is it supposed to catch hold? Maybe we could wrap it around something. We could always pull the, um, there is the fire ladder. Try to pull that down. Ooh, that's actually an idea. We could pull it down with the wire. Interesting. A fire ladder. Maybe I can get into the museum from the roof. Maybe. Let's try using the wire. This could work. Doesn't seem like I can pull the ladder down. Oh. Maybe it won't. Hmm. Fair enough. There doesn't appear to be anything else. Ooh, we could push the van backwards. That's an idea. Let's see if a deal can do that. I think he can. Not with the handbrake on, I wager. Nope. The handbrake is on. Hmm. Well, when we come back, folks.
We'll have to find a way to, in fact, push the van backwards so we can get access to this ladder. I'm sure we might have need for it. I hope we have need for- Ooh. No, I, I can't throw the tennis ball at it. Be a good way to solve the problem, but no. So I'll catch you next time. See you then. Later.